Hi, my name is Phoebe Nieves, and today I will be presenting on Martha E. Rogers' Science of Unitary Human Beings. I chose to talk about this theory because it was a theory that I didn't really understand, um, and I wanted to learn more about it so that I could um, successfully do this presentation and understand what I'm actually learning about, um, because it, actually, it is an interesting theory that Martha Rogers took a long part of her career to develop um, for people to use in their nursing practice. So on my concept map, the nurse's role in caring for a patient recovering from addiction. I chose this as my um, case study to work through this uh, theory. So in summary, the theory to me means that the nurse is being a part of the process of change that the patient is going through and that that change is facilitated by the energy from the patient and the environment that they are in. Um, the patient is an energy source and the environment is an energy source. Um, together, this contributes to the theory of homeodynamics, which is a state of being kind of like homeostasis. Um, and homeodynamics can be broken into three subcategories of resonancy, integrality, and helicy, which I will talk about in a little bit. Um, all of these things can be um, influenced by positive energy and negative energy change. So for example, um, with this patient who's recovering from addiction, um, maybe they are admitted to the hospital with uh, addiction to alcohol, they're withdrawing, um, and so the nurse sees, she's getting a report, she sees that the patient has history of etiolage and pancreatitis. Um, for us, a lot of times these patients just drink and come in to get pain medication to help with the pancreatitis and just leave and start drinking again. Um, we don't know much about the patient's family life, what they're going through, um, the environment that they have at home, what causes them to drink. Um, maybe it's stress related, maybe it's family history. Um, so that negative energy can attribute to the patient's healing because they know that uh, their wife is going to be upset, that they're in the hospital again, it's another bill. So they're just going to leave and start drinking again um, because it's pointless at this point to even treat the addiction that the patient is having. Where um, di a different look, the positive side is that the medication and the fluids that we give this patient makes them feel better changes the energy. Um, maybe we're able to get social work or uh, spiritual services involved in this patient. Uh, maybe we get him some AA meetings or provide him with the information so that he can go to these uh, support groups and things like that to contribute to his healing. So um, residency is the idea of vibration, uh, vibrations in energy and the frequency that this occurs in. Um, integrality is the continuous interactions and response to interactions. Um, like I just said, um, uh, the patient arguing with his wife about him being in the hospital again and his drinking just um, in turn makes him react to drink more and come back to the hospital again. Um, and helicy is the idea that this is an open system and the exchange between the human and the environment, um, the energy exchange is continuous between the two. So the patient's energy and the environment's energy attribute to the healing in its entirety. Um, on this slide, we have the Rogers Science of Unitary Human Being. On this slide, I just wanted to touch a little bit about 
who Martha Rogers was, um, the meta paradigm of her theory, some assumptions and principles of her theory, and how her theory is going to make nursing practice better. Um, so Martha Rogers uh, was born on May 12, 1914. I like to include this because she shares a birthday with Florence Nightingale. Um, she was very interested in education and learning at a very young age. She had a very prominent schooling um, and career. After publishing three books, Martha did pass away in 1994, leaving behind one of her greatest achievements, which was this theory um, and science of unitary human being. Um, this theory was greatly influenced by the idea that human and environment both are energies that coexist, which was talked about on the concept uh, map slide. So for her uh, meta paradigm of nursing, the nurse um, is seen as both an art and a science. And the goal of the nurse is to participate in that art of change. Um, the patient is identified as uh, indivisible, pan-dimensional energy field influenced by patterns, um, their own man-made characteristics, characteristics sorry, um, that can't be predicted, but has that open system that can be influenced by the environment that they're in. Um, the environment is an energy field um, and health is defined as an expression of the life process. Some assumptions and principles of this theory is that man is a unified whole possessing his own integrity and manifesting characteristics. Um, man and environment are continuously interacting and exchanging energy. That life process evolves irreversibly and undirectionally. That pattern and organization identify the man and reflect his innovative wholeness. That man is characterized by the capacity for abstraction in imaginary language and through sensation and emotion. Um, that was interesting to me because a lot of the times us as nurses use different outlets um, and creative ways to interact with our patients, get our patients to bond with us. We, in an acute care setting, only have um, maybe a one to three day stay to get to know our patients, what they like and what we can actually do to make a huge difference for them. So being creative, maybe finding a radio um, to play some of their favorite songs that they haven't heard in a while, um, making time to just sit with them, um, talk about things that they like, movies, gardening, uh, cars, anything that can just cause the, you to have a human-to-human -human interaction with your patient rather than just a nurse and patient um, interaction. Um, so this theory will improve nursing practice by allowing nurses to view their patient and environment as energy sources that contribute to this open system um, and to participate in the change that the patient will go through. So actively being a part of your patient's change is going to greatly improve how your patient heals throughout their stay at the hospital. On this slide are my references. I just wanted to take of the time to thank everybody for watching my video and I hope everybody has a great week.